Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, back with another slice of another code R, and things are getting intense because, well, you just read the episode synopsis of the last episode, so... There's no reason for me to recap that, but I'm going to maybe anyway, so Sophia was being an arse and then Rex Alfred came in and now Ryan's doing shitty things in the another control room and ah, we should be slightly worrying. We should be worrying. Yes, that's clearly what I meant to say. Now, I would say this might be the last episode of the series, but I feel like there's going to be at least one more episode after this one. We shall see. So, Mr. Rex asks Alfred, this is our destination. I'm sure there's no point in me trying to go any further down the corridor. I'm assuming we're going to have to high-five this thing, because we saw it in, in the we saw one of those in the reception area as well, and it doesn't look like a tassable lock, unfortunately, but it is a lock of some kind. Ashley, Rex, share some sort of insight. So yeah, it's a high five scanner. But it's not gonna let you in, is it? Because Ryan will have tricked it out so that you can't get in. Why would he be so stupid as to not to? Conversely, he's taken his hand back but his hand's still on the sensor, but we should use our handprint because, well, the TAS is also biometrically linked to us, and I doubt Ryan will have even thought to check if we're in the database, so let's just high five that thing and get in. See, you would have thought he'd just do a complete system format, delete everyone's biometric data, and then re-add his own after the delete. But... Yeah. Exactly my line of thinking. If he only went and deleted Rex's, and possibly the other people in the facility here, then... He wouldn't have thought to include Ashley because... Well, she was a child at the time, and he still perceives her as a child now. I suppose this explains why we can use the TAS, and why the TAS is biometrically linked up to our DNA, because we were here before- Why is this a puzzle? I just need to high-five and sploop the thing, and wow, where- Where is the screen? I'm still trying to get used to the, um... I have to have the sensor bar below the TV with my current recording setup since I came home. And... Well, there are some cables in the way, so it's not the easiest thing to point at the screen at the moment. There are a lot of things that aren't easy right now, actually, because the microphone is on a, a leaning tower of boxes between my legs, and I'm on my bed, and whoa, this is slightly worrying. Why, hello there, Dr. Robbins. Well, you look like you're still alive, and then there's Ryan. And then there's Maud. Why must you be such an ass, Ryan? Like ass hyphen Ryan? Well, no shit! Yes. Fucking well done. Just recap what happened in the last minute. You and your sociopathic tendencies. Well, why, why should you do something like this, for that matter? Why are you like this, Ryan? Must you? Why? Okay. So, he's used another zero, and Dr. Robbins currently has no memories. But that means we're going to need to use another one to put his memories back in, so he's used Jarring Thuds Fitzgerald's another to remove Dr. Robbins' memories, and we need to use Sayoko's to put them back in. There's a, a nice serendipity there that Richard's wife's machine is what's going to be what saves his memories if we have our way. And that is kind of what I was saying in the last episode. Not that Ryan's right to take that mentality, but Rex just being a director, he has no power apart from on paper. God, he's an arrogant prick. Like this, for example. See, you are literally... By doing this, Ryan, you are proving why Judd gave the company to Rex and not to Ryan. Oh yes, yeah, Sayoko was going to be the new director, but then bad things happened and Rex got the position instead. Well, good for you, but... you're being an ass. Just because you can make kebabs. Hmm. Oh, so another zero is 
another and another one. So I've, I've got the nomenclature slightly mixed up then. Hmm. Is that, or he wanted to combine another one with another zero? I'm, I'm slightly confused now. See, he was trying... Okay, so another zero is the confluence of another and another one. Or was it another one and another two? I don't remember, they all have really similar names. You see, Ryan? He wanted to... Like, you had the same goal, and then you went all arsey. He's just looking out for his family, like his wife did. How can you pretend to cooperate with someone without actually cooperating? Why should we believe a word you say? You've proven that you're not trustworthy. And why are you all just standing there, by the way? He's behind a pane of glass, just smash through it and slap him one. <sighs> Do we have to listen to it from you? Might it be you by any chance? Because you are being very arse. Like on a scale of one to arse, you've heard this joke a thousand times before. So you know as well. Th that, that, by the way, is a huge plot spoiler for the end of the first game, which I will have forgotten by the time I get around to Let's Playing It, don't worry. Oh, he, he died as well. Yum yum. Hmm. But why are we all just standing around, well, I would say monologuing, but... trialoguing? Wait, so... Okay, so Bill did do the killing. Ah, so even though he's the killer, he wasn't the only one with blood in his hands, so to speak. Then, was he blackmailed? Was it his own fault? Am I supposed to be sympathizing with a murderer here? Hmm. Well, I mean, it was his... Th th those are files about his wife, so... Well, maybe you should have been nicer to him. Maybe you should have been a bit more transparent about your intentions, for that matter. Oh, shut the fuck up. You're not any better with your grey-ass hair and your grey-ass surname. But... Isn't this basically the plot of Pokemon Black and White? Truth versus Ideals. Which actually is British politics in a nutshell, come to think of it. But let's not... Let's, let, let's just stay away from that whole hornet's nest. Right, if you're so brilliant, why didn't you just leave the company and start your own? You have the funding for it, you have the mind for it, why are you still here if you're that disillusioned? And you're endangering human life and the very least human memory. In fact, if you delete someone's memories, isn't that killing without taking the life? Because it's erased a life that led up to that moment. So it is still the erasure of a life, it's just, it, at the same time, it creates the birth of a new person who has no memories. So, it's like... It's like dying in childbirth, except the child and the birth of the same person. Child and birther, I suppose. If you could get in the- hang on, hang on, what, just, just, just hold, hold all of the fucks. Rex, if you could get in there the entire fucking time, why did we just stand there talking? Why haven't you decked him yet? Jesus Christ, okay. That explains a lot. But the thing is, if- if you had that the entire t You completely missed his head, by the way, but... What was the point of this? Why did we not just cut to that chase immediately? And what the fuck happens now, for that matter? But they weren't. Or do you not know that? Well... Just Ashley. Yes, don't secret diarrhea this one. This is the one element of surprise, the the one chip we have over him at the moment. 
unless he knows as well, which will also which will be rather unfortunate because then we have literally no point of negotiation. Okay, well, you don't know what's in there, do you? Well, there we go. That that confirms what we discovered in the last episode that Sophia was the accomplice of Ryan, and that's why she stole our bag, but then gave it back. Twice, essentially. He came back, though. He obviously still cares. He's just... He's, he's just easily distracted. And so perhaps he hasn't had the perfect life, but he's had something that you'll never understand, Mr. Gry. He felt love. You don't even know what love is. Or are you going to be all Cyrus from Team Galactic about this? Oh, you feel emotions. You're incomplete and I'm so edgy I'm going to delete the universe. Well, go on then. What is this alter ass matum? Well, if we say no, then... He, he might shoot us and also delete his memories, so we don't have a choice. Go on, what are your demands? I'm sure we'll find some way of finagling around them. F apostrophe nagling, that is. Well, no shit. You fucking blackmailed us with a gun and a hostage. What the fuck did you expect us to say? Hmm... A long cube- that's fucking- in- in a facility as futuristic and angular as this one, you want us to find a cuboid box. Fucking Christ. You're supposed to be the guy who thinks everything through thoroughly. Fwathwathwa. Hmm. And you want us to interfere with it now. You do realise that by trusting us to leave this room and come back, we could just go and get some authorities and come back and... He's talking about the TAS, isn't he? Well, it's a device that unlocks a lot of things, for that matter. Hmm, well... That's helpful because we don't know what box he's talking about, but we do have the TAS. I'm surprised you haven't worked that out, considering that you locked us in a room and we unlocked the door from the inside with no means of doing so, seemingly. How have you not put two and two together? You're supposed to be the smart, cold, calculating arsefuck guy. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, well, we're the, we're the ones covered in custard now. Well, certainly so it seemed. Here, oh dear, must you be so selfish, Ryan? And then you worked out that that was the pendant. So you could say that Sayoko is pretty independent right now. Jokes about dead people, yay! It's biometrically scanned to us. F fucking Sherlock ass. Well, we already have it, so... Well, can we just pretend to not have it and then leave and then get the police or something? You really do think of everything, don't you? But how the fuck would you be able to tell? Like, surely we could just go out, tell the authorities, but tell them not to let it be obvious. Also, why... What do you want me to do? I could just come in there and... We have the... Ashley! I was so incensed that I opened the desk and said, but while we're here, just out of mild curiosity. But seriously, how could he tell? Surely he won't be able to know until it's too late, but... So that, that camera's out, and there's not really much we can glean from this, so I'm assuming we should just play along, because he doesn't know that we have the TAS. 
Assuming we do still have the task at this point. Well, okay then. But just tell someone, but don't make it obvious that someone's been told. And wow, the corridor does just end. Well, we know that there's a basement floor because... A basement floor because we've seen it before. But Ashley, what is your plan here? Seriously, what what are you trying to do? Also, I really love the elevator transitions because they are really rather clever. Ugh. I don't even get to see Gina's running animation to go along with this. Yeah. That's Sophia's office, and there we go, Baskin Robbins, which isn't even a thing over here. Oh, I get it. If we just bring the box but have it be empty, then could we still trick something, something gummy worm? Oh, okay, so it's not that. It won't be this. Ashley, please, just break the fourth wall and, and tell me what is... Like, but, but we have the task. Why are you... Why are you being like this? We didn't say anything when we were in here before with regards to the whole task box thing. Okay, so it's not in there. Well, that rules one drawer out of eight out. Well, that was unexpected. Might there be something underneath it, by any chance? I should not have to click this multiple times! That is bad design! There we go! Ooh! Oh! Oh! I am seeing so many things at once! There's a kaleidoscope chamber, so we can work out what the code is to open that box. But that box is going to be empty because we already have the task. Ashley, have you seriously not realized this? Well, no, of course you can't. But, but... Ashley, he fucking told you to your face that he was talking about the... the task. How could just... For, to, bu, 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 bu. <laughs> okay. Presumably this will reveal the code unto us. Okay, that's some sort of hexagon. I appreciate. And then... Triangle, which points to the right at the moment. It looks like a play icon. So, hexagon play. I appreciate the video references because I am. And then square, diamond, square, Mitsubishi, I don't know. Twisty, twisty. And then we're back to hexagon again. Okay, well, that was helpful. Quite a... Try, try, blah, quite a faff to rotate the Wii remote. The, like, get the Wii remote strap untwisted around my arm, because yes, I wear the Wii remote strap because I am just that kind of scrub. And also find a way of pointing at the correct part of the screen in order to quit from the thing. So, I'm guessing... I don't have to poke the screen, do I? Okay, good. So, hexagon, and then... Play button and then square. No, it was the uh, it was the filled in one. Oh, there was. Okay, so that there's there's a B button on the back as well. Okay, so hexagon, triangle, that E. Do you have to hold down the B button? Okay, that that seems that seems sensible. Unless do I have to do I have to hold the box like sideways? Because I can rotate it like this, but I can't hold... I, I can't rotate it on any other axis. So I can't, like, hold it sideways, so... Oh, I have to hold them all at once, that makes sense. There we go. I thought you had to put them in in a sequence, hence why it showed me them in order. But I just did it! Why did you tell me that was wrong? I just did what you asked me to do! Yes! I just did the thing, how dare you! Hmm. Is it not the square one? <sighs> this might take a while then, because I swear I'm getting the right shape here. I 
I did that the first time. And why? Why the nunchuck? He told me he was looking for the tass. Am I the only person who didn't, like, for whom it sounded like he was asking for the tass and only the tass and that the thing in this box was the tass except it wasn't because we had the tass. That was badly written. And oh wow, a thing that looks like a tass in a tass box might might be causing the tass to react. Jesus Christ, just combine it with the fuck fuck. Oh my Christ, Ashley. Do you need me to procure a nunchuck and then plug it in? You do. Really? Okay, give me a second. Good grief, you could at least warn me if you've got a fourth wall puzzle coming up. Well, I have a nunchuck in my left hand now. I'm surprised I forgot that this was a thing, to be honest. I was so caught up in how wonderful the task puzzles are that I forgot that there's another part to it. Oh, it's just a module. Well, there we go. Hands down the most creative use of a nunchuck ever. Well then. My house has leveled up, you know. You won't get that reference, don't worry about it. Is it now a pointy zappy shooty gun? Oh my. Don't worry, this isn't coming out of the Wii Remote as well, it's, like, this is just, this is just text-based.
Well, if that isn't some deep and powerful shit, I don't know what is. So, now we truly understand what it means to be called the TAS. It's true functionality, and yet we've yet to see its application. So, we should probably go and apply that, because it sounded like Serco had noble intentions for this device, and we intend to see them through to their conclusion. Having said that, that's probably going to yield a rather lengthy cutscene, so... On the way back, I will say, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons. And in the next episode, hopefully, with any luck, we can put a stop to Ryan's crazy designs with the power of dead Japanese woman. Okay, I completely killed the mood, I apologize. But anyway, in the next episode, we'll do just that. So, see you then. <laughs>